CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the two HDMI ports that are located on the back of the Avalonics Premium Series NVRs. Some of the NVRs that are four SATA or eight SATA hard drive ones do have two HDMI ports that you can find on the back. The top one says HDMI 2 if you look closely enough, and there's another HDMI cable connected on the bottom of it. And I'm going to show you how you can log into the main user menu using a monitor that's coming out of HDMI 1. That's the one on the bottom right there and how you can use a mouse connected to your NVR and use the graphical display interface to change the settings for video output so you can actually use the HDMI 2 for spot video output. So now I'm looking at my monitor that is connected to the HDMI 1 port on the back of the NVR. This gives me the menu interface to change settings. And then on the left hand side, I have another monitor showing me HDMI 2. So now let's, I'm gonna zoom in to the output coming from the HDMI 1 port to show you how you can configure these settings and I'm going to have my colleague jump in and show you how to do that. Alright so first you'll note on the second screen it may have said decode disable so first you need to right click click main menu I'm going to log in using the graphical user password and then you need to either use the scroll wheel on the mouse or click the arrow on the bottom of the menu page here to get to the second set of settings. So you'll note that it says display. I'm gonna click on display to get into the display settings. On the left hand side, we have the main screen, which is the screen I'm currently on. And then on the right hand side, we have the sub screen. So you will need to do the enable decoding button. So what this does is tells the NVR to now actually decode video for any of the channels that are on the sub screen. And when you do that, what happens is that enable decode message on the second display. Uh, disappears so now you have a uh, grid with empty boxes in it and that means whenever you have cameras added to those channels that you have on your sub screen you'll actually get video from them now you can also go into the tour setting and then into sub screen and set up a motion tour if you want your sub screen to automatically pull up uh, cameras when motion detection is enabled and you can even do that for your main screen as well However, in this video, I'm going to focus and show you how you get over to the subscreen so you can choose whatever cameras you want to view on the subscreen. So first, I'm going to right click to get back to the main menu and then right click again to get back to the grid screen on my main screen. So to get to the subscreen, I need to move my mouse over there. Now on a computer, you might think, OK, I just need to scroll my mouse over to get over to that screen. On an NVR, you actually have to right click and then at the bottom of this right click menu is a sub screen option. So I'm clicking the sub screen option after right clicking for the menu. So over here on our sub screen, you're going to get a message that says display output and switch video source will automatically be restored. So you need to click this OK button before it switches back over to your main screen. And now this puts your mouse on the sub screen. So now I can right click and choose the different views that I want to select on my subscreen. So if I wanted to look at channel one or any individual channel, I could do view one and choose any of the channels. View four is going to give me a four camera grid view based on whatever channels I have selected. View eight, view nine, view, and then view 16. So your NVR will have different options depending on its channel numbers for the subscreen. And then you could even do PTZ control on the subscreen and then right click to get out of these menus. Now it's worth noting that since it's not the main screen, you do not have any availability to get to any settings. You can just choose the different views that you want to select and then you do have the ability to do PTZ control on the subscreen. So to get back to the main screen to change settings to get your mouse back over there, you do need to right click and then click main screen. And then it will once again give you another message to switch the video source to the main screen. And then you click OK, and now your mouse is back on your main screen, and you can right click and get back to the main menu and change settings as needed. So make sure that you always put your mouse back on your main screen after you're done setting whatever subscreen options you want. That way you don't lock yourself out of your NVR and forget that you have your mouse on the subscreen. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.